Good day everyone, welcome to video tutorials presentation on Dreamweaver, creating master and detail page, part 1 of 2. In this, in part 1 we will be creating the master page, and in part 2 we will create the detail page. Today I'm going to show you how to create a master and detail page. The master page will be used to show a summary of uh, records in a database table containing some links. You click on those links in the master table, you will go to the detail page which will show details about the specific record. Okay, so now let me show you how to create the master and detail page. So you right click on the site, select new file, type master, right click on the site again, select new file, type detail. Double click on master.asp to open it. Let's call the page master page. Okay, so now let's insert table. Insert table to contain the columns, uh, the fields, field values. So two rows, three columns should be enough. Then click OK. So you type username and first name. Okay, those are the two fields you want to display. And we type edit. Okay, this is the link that we will use to, this will be made to a link that we will connect to detail page later. Now let's go to the create a record set. Before you can create a record set, make sure you create a database connection in Dreamweaver already. If you don't know how to do so, please refer to my videos, earlier videos which show you how to create a database connection. Okay, now let's go to bindings, click on plus, click on record set, type rs, let's call the record set rs show users, select connection, contest, select table test.user, Okay, we don't need all the columns, so we select selected. Click on user ID, username, and first name. Username and first name will be shown. User ID won't actually be shown, but we need it in the record set because we need to pass this value to the detail page. Then click on OK. After you do this, you click and drag username to here. Click and drag first name to here. And now we make edit into a URL into a link that is to detail page. So you right click on the edit text, select make link and select detail.asp. Okay. So now this is a link to ASP page. Now we need to make uh, need to adjust the link a bit and modify the link a bit. So what you do is you select this select this thing here. Okay let's copy the value here copy and paste here so you have a better look okay this will show you the value of first name of the record set called rs show users which i've already created okay but we what we want to do is we want to pass the value user id instead okay of the record set so we change this to user id let's copy this okay now select the edit link again okay so what we do is we're gonna adjust the edit link we put a question mark then we enter the name of the URL parameter user ID equals to okay the value of the user ID for, for the record set okay so now that's it we have already created a link properly now what we do is we make some adjustments to the what we do is we go to server behaviors Okay, uh, before we go to the behaviors, let's select the row containing the dynamic fields and the, and the link itself. Click on plus button, then click on repeat region, then click on all records, then click OK. Okay, now we save it, Control S. 